could you repeat that question? Fadali Amal. Yeah, Fadali Amal. Fadali Amal is actually the majority of the hadith are okay in that hadith. There are some forgeries in it. And it's one of the hadith books that I mention about um, that, you know, if you throw the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak, um, you're going to deny yourself a lot of good. But you do have to be careful. There are, at least I'm aware of at least two uh, hadith that are, um, that are uh, problematic, very problematic forgeries in them. And it's interesting because the actual original book identifies in the Arabic that it's a forgery, that it's been declared as a forgery. It seems like the author didn't necessarily agree with it, but um, in the translations, it doesn't come off. The translation doesn't provide that critical comment. Uh, so if you read the Arabic of the hadith and after the, the post hadith comment, um, he, he, the author of Zakaria says that there are those scholars who call this hadith a forgery, and then he gives comments of those who said it's not a forgery. But in the translations, it's, none of that is there. So yeah, the, you, there are but two. One of them, one of the hadiths in that book that's a, that's a, uh, problematic is that hadith that states that if a person leaves a salah intentionally and then even does tawbah that they're distance from jannah, this distance I think uh, some hukab. Um That's even theologically problematic. That after tawbah that you'd still not be able to go. You know, you'd be distance from jannah. Um, so that's a more clear problematic hadith. Um, but overall, the book is is just like any other book of hadith, like the Sunan of Ibn Majah, as I mentioned. It's a book that you 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 can read. Um, I wish there was a critical edition in which those few places in which there are problematic hadiths were easily identified for the common reader. Um, but you know, I just recommend people who read it that if you ever have a question about the nature of the hadith, just ask a, a critical hadith scholar that can help you identify um, where those problems are. So the book should, I mean, the book I read, um, and it's Fadal al-Sadaqat, the other companion work to it. Um, but you, you do have to be a little careful, um, a little skeptical sometimes when in the commentaries especially. So there's two types of hadith in that book. There's the, um, the 40 hadith in each chapter. And then in the commentary on each hadith, there are other hadith as well. So it's usually in that commentary section where you have to be a little more. 